Today I want to begin to tell you about Internet 3. Now, Internet 1, you will know all about it. It's what you're using to watch this video right now. It's this way of connecting ourselves with a whole mass of moderately efficient electronic devices. The question which I want you to consider is, why? has humanity built Internet One? Not how, but why? So, and you know, who started it? And the question which you want to look at is not who were the, te the technicians that built the equipment. No, that's how, not why. The why is a question which is very, very rarely asked and when it is asked, it is usually answered with a how answer instead of a why answer. So why has humanity given itself internet? It's because of this change, this great change that's happening to humanity right now, not just humanity, the entire planet. Where you know they talk about the new the changing of the poles. But we're not talking about the north and south pole of the planet changing position. We're talking about the nature of human consciousness changing. So from destruction into peace, from fear into joy, from guilt into freedom and peace. This is the change we're talking about. On this change requires, or is perhaps the prelude to the mm, new collective consciousness. It's a, quite difficult to express this concisely because the words have not yet been invented. And it's about the, the coming time of community. And the change from the old dinosaur structure, if you like, where giants rule the earth, you know, the banking cartel, the energy cartel, the medical cartel, these are the giants which rule the earth at the moment, or which have ruled the earth until quite recently. Their, their power has been steadily waning now for more than a decade. And what is emerging to replace it is this community, this, this sense of togetherness, of remembering ourselves. Instead of dismembering humanity, remembering, that is, coming together. And Internet One was developed in order to train humanity in this concept of immediate communication everywhere around the planet, of every human being being part of a single organism called humanity. And this is the greatness into which we are now moving. And Internet One has given us this perspective. So, you know, something which I could do right now, where am I? In Germany. Right now, from here in Germany, I could book a restaurant table in Australia, no problem. We've become so used to it, we don't even think of it as anything special, but 20 years ago, unthinkable. That's how much we've moved in that such a short time. Internet 2, I'll mention because it exists, but not many people know about it, and thus doesn't receive anything like the investment that it deserves. But instead of using lots of cables, I wonder how many tons of cables <laughs> exist around the world in order to make Internet 1 work. But Internet 2 uses no cables whatsoever. Instead of sending signals and receiving signals via cables, they use the, the natural gravity waves of the planet to carry the information signals. At the moment, it's a little bit slower than Internet One, but it you know, could be developed to be at least as fast, if not faster. 
but it does have the a couple of advantages. You can't track anything because there are no traces left on the gravity waves and there are no cables that lead from point A to point B. The gravity waves are all over the place. And those that are developing it say you can't control it and you know, spamming is impossible, which to my mind would be a great advantage. I don't know about you, but at least 90% of the emails I receive every day are spam. And to be rid, rid of that merely by changing from cable to gravity wave transmission. However, this is all by the by. What we want to talk about here is Internet 3. Now, Internet 3 is that which transpires when we realize that everything that we manifest out there, Internet 1 for example, has only happened because the concepts which create it are here. So the concept of community, of instant communication throughout the whole of humanity, that is here and we've manifested it out there. Now I say we, and I had nothing to do with the technological developments, but I did have a lot to do with deciding to use them. You see how much you have participated. You have caused the developments because you invested in the machinery which do it. You chose to go for community. However, we don't need the external machinery. This was just something which gave to us the concept. It can be done. It works. Not only can be done, it is done. But that's just a, shall we say, a diversion. A way of doing it round three corners instead of directly. We can do it directly. Each of us has the necessary equipment needed to communicate instantly with everyone else on the planet. It's built into your body. And two organs are very important in this. This one. This is created to receive information out of, well, as Rupert Sheldrake said, the morphogenetic field, that is the field of energy information which connects the whole of humanity, in which the whole of humanity is contained. It's an aspect of the quantum fields. And this device is there to receive informational impulses and to order them like a library. This is a library. To communicate with the rest of the universe or with a specific person or to give specific information, you choose how to do it. That's what your heart is for. And the heart is the organ which has the, the biggest field of radiation. It's been measured to 12 meters, what's that, 30 feet? No, 40 feet and more. Because this, by your heart, is the way in which you give information, impulses, into the morphogenetic field which anyone else can pick up. You do it all the time, it's not new. You just need to begin doing it consciously. You've learned with Internet One as a diagram, it works. And now it's just a case of letting go of the gadgets and doing it directly. This is what Internet Three is about. So to practice, using this one, we'll put up the um, first lesson from the Transmissions Teaching DVD onto the uh, internet probably directly after this one so you can practice learning how to become more and more sensitive 
to the information which surrounds you anyway, which has always surrounded you, which everybody knows about, no matter how much you've been taught to deny it, it's something which you experience every day. I mean, the, the strongest examples are, of course, the, the mother who always knows what her children are doing, you know, when they're quite small anyway, because she feels it. She, she, because she can't communicate with the children with words, intellectually, very strongly, she communicates with feelings. That's what it's all about. It's the same as the morphogenetic field, used in a specific way. What are my children doing? And the children saying, what is mummy doing? Works brilliantly. You, know, you don't have to go to university to learn it. It's something which was born into you. You just that you've been taught to believe that it doesn't exist despite the fact that you experience it every day. So lovers always know where they are relative to each other. Lots of things like this that you experience every day, but you've been taught to deny. So start practicing consciously, picking up the information around you and using it. The way to do it is on the video which follows this one. Then to give information out, to communicate with humanity as a whole or with a specific person, it's a question of a tuning, you know, nothing more than that. I've written a complete handbook on this. Um, at the moment it is called The Biology Of, from the website thebiologyof.com. Uh, that's an abridged version. The full-length version, which is called The Anatomy of Luck, uh, will be available as soon as I've completed the translation from the German original. Okay, I'm an English person and I wrote the book original in German. Oh, well, the world is full of strange things, but there you are. So, this is the first step with Internet 3. Start learning how to use the gadgets which are built into you, instead of gadgets out there which you have to purchase and which can be controlled by others. Learn to use the gadgets within you for free. And there'll be an enormous amount of, shall we say, interesting side effects. Okay, just enjoy. Thank you. Namaste.